Hello everybody, this is Budrich and in this video this is Budrich in this video we take a look at the latest release of my favorite window manager i3wm version 4.18 4.18 yes uh, and it's not much to say really it's a great release you can do this you can uh, drag click on a tab drag that's one of the new features also feels like uh, resizing by dragging the borders works uh, better. I have uh, like three pixel borders uh, for this to be easier to do, but whatever. I think that's a new feature. I'm not really sure. It feels like I could do this prior to this release, but whatever. <coughs> so that's one new feature. Another feature is that they have uh, added two new uh, arguments here to the focus command next and prev so you can uh, focus next and previous container within the container but it kind of works so so in my opinion i will keep on using i3 flip which i use here to switch tabs now because uh, this uh, focus prev and next it doesn't cycle within the container so i can only let's do it in this instead Focus next, go here, focus next sibling, do it again. Nothing happens because we have reached uh, the end of the container. There are no next siblings, but focus previous sibling works. But at least it stays now within uh, this container, which it didn't do uh, before. And I think that's, a, that's an improvement. But I will use my own i3 flip, which is available in uh, i3 as. Uh, yeah, whatever, I will link it in there show notes if you're interested about that and it is it works fine uh, and that is more or less uh, the new features but they have also added like it. it's both a feature and a, a, a fix to a, to a very strange issue I didn't even know existed exec command will now respect command criteria it didn't do this before uh, and I will link this as well, this reddit thread here, which was uh, posted like a month ago. I'm wondering... Maybe... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the same uh, user as uh, this. Uh, it's a guy who, who figured out how to create a key binding that does different things depending on uh, what window is active. And this is, this is a really, really good feature. Uh, but it's extremely clunky to write it. But let's let's uh, take a look at this. Th this is what this video will be about now. Haven't really tested all of this. Uh, I just thought about it, but I think we can, we can do some, some cool things. Um, I have prepared this a bit here with a key binding. I was experimenting a bit. I'm using uh, mod4 super tab here. This is like an insane line here. Um, and what it does is we have Pinesim mod 4 tab, super tab, and then a criteria in the key binding. And the criteria is for the exec command here. Uh, and in, with the uh, window criteria in i3, you can use these special uh, um, words. Uh, that are padded with double underscores. So underscore, underscore, focused, underscore, underscore. That means instead of using a container ID, I will uh, just take the focused window. And you can, you can also write like title equals focus, focus, it doesn't matter, or focused. There are other special keywords like this. Uh, there are also like tiled uh, and floating, and I think there are other more, or maybe that's the three there is. But you can also add multiple window criteria to one key binding or, or one criteria. So here we, we both test uh, that the container ID is focused and that the class name is uh, not sublime text. I guess this was bad now that I have 
this here because this is a, a negative look around uh, regular expression. So this will match any window that doesn't have sublime text as the class name. So that's the criteria. A focus window, not sublime text. Uh, then we execute no startup ID and this is a command uh, that I execute. Notify send, you pressed not in sublime. Then we also, then you can chain commands. None of this is really new, you know. Uh, uh, but this, uh, the guy who did this, really smart thinking out, outside the box. Because then you chain this uh, command. So we are still in the same key binding, but we fire a new i3 message command, you can think of it as. Uh, with a new criteria. And here, here, here the criteria is uh, a window that does have, the focus window must have sublime text for this to work. So it, it more or less becomes like an if-else thing here. So if the window is not sublime text, it will print this notification here. You're not, you press not in sublime, otherwise you press in sublime. So if this works now, I know a really long rant there about it, but you pressed in sublime. And I also get the key notification thing here. Uh, this is not sublime you press not in sublime. This is really, really nice that you can have the same key binding doing different things depending on the window uh, active. But uh, a bit annoying that you have to write it like this. I guess this makes more sense maybe to do some something like this. Makes it more clear but still you know it would be <laughs> nice to have this uh, uh, in a in a leaner uh, format you know so i thought maybe we could try to write a script that does this uh, something along the lines i'm, I'm thinking a command uh, let's call it i3 spec uh, and then class sublime text text and then I guess first argument is command if true second argument command if not true so we could at least do something like this it's still kind of a long stupid maybe whatever maybe not do this it gets so weird with all the quotes and stuff whatever we can do this in i3 now the thing is we could do it before this, but the, the problem before this release was that exec didn't care about this criteria. It, it fired any command anyways, so you couldn't really create context specific, but this is new functionality. If I was uh, uh, a contributor uh, to i3 uh, and developing the, the program, I would do something like this make it possible to create two key bindings um, and one could could look like this and one could look like this so this one would be a global key binding that always uh, applied if but if a key binding with the same uh, bind sim like this existed that had a criteria then the criterias are are kind of yeah test test all bind sims with criteria if you find uh, a matching criteria don't uh, test any more key bindings otherwise keep on till till you find a key binding with a matching criteria if no criteria is specified that means all uh, keys so this would do the same thing and just much more clear syntax in my opinion but I'm not uh, the one who, who, who does that kind of stuff, you know, but uh, that's that's how I would have designed it. But it doesn't really matter. You can write these things and it's not like you would have like one million program specific key bindings. On the time you need it, you could do this for those uh, uh, rare edge cases. Really nice feature really appreciate it uh, i haven't really thought about uh, use cases for it yet really but maybe i will whatever um or uh, whatever that that's this video have a great day everybody by the way